Hey there again, VC. I'm back for my last update probably of uh, 2016. I definitely have so many more records to show, but um, these were the highlights from a collection I bought and um, other stuff I've picked up in the last two weeks. Um, first off, have a nice stack here of 45s. I won't go through these in much detail, but um, there's some good ones here. Bananarama, like they're they're mostly 80s these ones, and they're awesome. They're nice sleeves and they're minty. Howard Jones. Oh, I just dropped one. It's okay though. Okay, give me a second here. Howard Jones, that's a great song. I know you all know that song. Donald Fagan. And then we have... This great single here. Mostly 80s stuff. I got these all a buck a piece. This is a great, great song by the Isley Brothers, It Takes a Good Woman. Sorry for the glare. Here's one with the, here's an Elvis, nice Elvis one I got thrown in for free. This is Crying in the Chapel, backed with I Believe in the Man in the Sky. And then we got some 45s without uh, picture sleeves. Um... Um, once been, once bitten, twice shy. Great white. Rick Astley, never gonna give you up. One of my favorites. Um, you know, just that kind of stuff. A couple Rick Astley picture sleeves. This one. This one was awesome. Ice House, Electric Blue. A couple more here. Uh, Roy Orbison and Katie Lang doing Crying from that movie. I forget what, what the name of it is, but it, it's, uh, it's awesome. What's this one here. Oops. This is a Rick Astley uh, picture sleeve from 1993. It's on this red RCA label. It's from the 90s at some point. Maybe not 93, but just got to get it back in there. I'll do that after. don't want to rip it. And yeah, so those are the 45s. Now, I hope this video isn't too long, but I got a big stack of LPs. First, let's start off with an Elvis item. I probably, um, for what I paid for the collection, this was really cheap. And, um... This isn't in the best of condition, but uh, I just got the spin clean, and uh, this cleaned up so beautifully. Um, this is a first pressing King Creole, and it plays great. It's got it's got a tear on the label, but what do you what what are you gonna ask for for close to a dollar, really? All right, so I gotta go. I gotta go quick here. We got kind of an EP of Depeche Mode. Um, it has Strange Love on it, and it's still in the shrink on Sire Records. Next up, uh, Merle Haggard, Sing Me Back Home. Capital Rainbow label. Very good addition to the collection. Uh, here's an album by Judas Priest. This was only a couple bucks. On Columbia. This is a new album, uh, well not a new album anymore, but uh, this is a wonderful album and I definitely recommend it. Willie Nelson's latest album, For the Good Time, to tribute to Ray Price. This sounds good and it's also a great album. This was, I got this for a killer price. I already have a copy, but I don't know what I'm doing with this copy. Buffalo Springfield again. It's in great shape on the Atco label. So I, I've done pretty well. Most of these are from the, flea, from the flea market or from that collection that I purchased. 
Alright. Oh, just unplugged my laptop. <laughs> One second, VC. Hope you're all doing well. And, uh, yeah. But there's still more to go here. Don't don't even worry. This is a reissue, but um, this is a this is a Bob Marley album that's impossible to find for me. And uh, this is Soul Rebel. Damn it! I forgot to to bring CDs down, but that's okay. That can wait till the new year, I guess. And then I got a couple albums here by the Beastie Boys, the reissues. I have an original of one, and I don't have an original of the other one. This is uh, licensed to ill. It's a very faithful reissue, and it uh, sounds very good. And I was I was more excited to get this to get uh, the second one because it's impossible to find um, originally. And this is the Beastie Boys. Check your head. It's awesome. They got nice polyline sleeves in them, so they're not jipping you like most of the new pressings are. And uh, next up, this was a great find. This is George Jones on United Artists. And he does a great ver version of Take These Chains from My Heart by Hank. I just I just love George, and I'll, I'll I pick up anything from him that I see. Next up, another artist that I've always passed by, but I shouldn't have. This is Jim Reeves. Um, I always see Jim Reeves, and I, I'm sure you all do, in the thrift store, and I've always passed him up, but I really shouldn't. He's got a, such, a, such a great voice. Next up, this was a, probably a high... Really good highlight from uh, from the collection I purchased. It's still in the shrink wrap. It's in beautiful condition. This is uh, Patsy Cline on uh, Vocalion. It's in just beautiful condition. And that was a great find. One of my favorites for sure. I just love it. And uh, probably still about 15 finds to go here, BC. I don't mean to make this video too long, but this was an awesome album. I listened to this. This is Wynn Stewart. I definitely recommend checking him out. Straightforward uh, country sound. Next up, this was amazing to find in, the, in that collection I purchased. This is Vince Gill from 1987. Um, I don't find much Vince Gill on LP. I mean, I have uh, have probably 30, 45s of his, but uh, none on LP usually. All right, uh, I've had this. I had this in, a, in my collection for a while, but I'm not sure if I ever showed it. Uh, it's a great album, and uh, I got to give a shout out to the Elvis vinyl guy and Jordan, the Elvis Presley collector. This is one of their favorites as well. This is Mark Dinning's uh, Teen Angel on MGM. I listened to this, and wow, is that a great album. I recommend everyone tries to seek that album out. I was really surprised with this. I I, um, I never checked out Isaac Hayes, and this is uh, the Shaft uh, soundtrack. This is the Gatefold, and this is just beautiful music, and I, I love it. I'm going to be getting more. And um, here's another Beastie Boys. I, I bought this for a dollar. It's it uh, doesn't have the cover, but it's licensed to ill. It's an original pressing, and uh, already had an original pressing. Not in 100% good condition, but uh, for the price. Uh, here's a, a uh, 4LP box set on Candlelight Music of the Platters. You can't go wrong with this box set right here. Um, it, it really is a good collection of their songs. There's another one I had in my collection that I wasn't sure if I showed. Uh, this is Roy Head with Sonny on Phillips. That's another great album. Alright, uh, this is still sealed and I'm going to keep it sealed. This is uh, kind of an Elvis related item. This is the Jordan Ayers. Of course, they uh, they were his backing vocals for a long time and um, this was really cool to find for about 20 cents by the time I was done with that collection. And uh, next up, uh, also this was in the collection, ACDC, what a great live album. Like, you can't go wrong with this stuff. It's in great condition. Okay, uh, this is Sinatra. You've seen that before. Now we're getting into some uh, killer finds. Well, well, I don't know about these next two, but... Well, they are killer finds, but compared to the last ones, 
Michael Jackson off the wall. This is a little bit of an upgrade for me. Thriller. It's the first pressing with the inner sleeve. Have have already a couple copies, but the price was right. Uh, now I found this for a dollar. Nat King Cole on the Capitol uh, label. I haven't listened to this one yet, but I'm planning to very soon. All right, these are some of my uh, favorite finds from the last couple weeks. Um, I never find any of his albums. This is Bobby Bland's Call On Me on the Duke record label. And I've just never never been able to find this. Haven't played it yet, so I can't really give an opinion, but I've heard really good things about it from fellow VC members. And I, I, I paid 17 bucks for it, so that's not... Not too bad. Oh, this was just fantastic to find. I haven't found any Buddy Holly for a while for a good price. Um, this is the Buddy Holly story. Um, second pressing, but in the original shrink wrap, nice and tight. And it's on this coral label here. Have to get an inner sleeve in there still, but it's, it's okay. And... That was just fantastic. Now I left the two for uh, two best for last. I'll put that one last. Um, this is an album that I've never I've seen it once before, and um, I've never had the chance to pick it up. This is the Music Machine featuring Talk Talk on Ario Records. I haven't listened to this yet, but I'm pretty sure it's garage rock. But I'm sure someone will fill me in on that. And uh, and the last one here. It was very cheap, and I was very surprised because the cover's in great shape. Uh, record has a couple light scuffs. Nothing affects plays. Um, here we go, 1967. This is the Yardbirds with Little Games. This is an original pressing. Here's the back. And it, it is on the Capital Rainbow label. In wonderful condition, wonderful playing condition that is. And um, I also just purchased about 800 uh, outer sleeves for $15. So shout out to Dixieland Farm. It is possible to maintain a record collection and have a record collection for cheap and not spending a lot of money. And uh, you just got to search out and find the right connections. I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I'm, uh, I'll, be, I'll see you in the New Year, hopefully. But you never know, I might make another video. Take good care, VC.